welcome to the first video segment of the Mind's Eye Society Midnight Voice Newsletter. You can get all the latest from the newsletter when you're subscribed to the general OOC list. We'll be putting things out once a quarter. Hi, I'm Juliet Mayer, a member from beautiful and windy Denver, Colorado in the North Central region. This quarter, we're gonna be focusing on a very important topic, recruitment. Unfortunately, none of us are getting any younger. And if you're newer to the organization, you've probably heard these stories of 100 person games that are a ton of fun in even smaller cities. It's, it's important, important to know that, that this video will focus on recruitment and not on retention. retention. The, the two are extremely important, but the tactics employed are a little bit different. So for now, we're going to be focusing on marketing your domain and its games. We'll be talking a little bit about the ways that you can leverage tools already at your disposal to get people in the door. Keeping them is going to be up to you. So we're going to be talking about three different mediums. The internet, social media, and, and person, person to person. person. This, this list, list is, is not exhaustive. You, you can always try more things, but this is a great list to start from. Probably because it's the cheapest. So, so what do you need to recruit new members? members? A small dedicated team that's excited about making a difference in their local domain is the first step. Extroverts are naturals at this kind of thing, but at a minimum, I recommend at least one excited new member and an older member and at least one male and one female. Chances are you already know who the right person for this job is. Every domain is going to be different, but the important part is to get someone who's motivated and is going to run with it. Encourage them and make it more about the chance to grow the domain than it is about the prestige. Though, of course, you should still award them prestige. If your domain does meetings, ask for volunteers there. Or, if you're more active on your email list, communicate that way and look for volunteers in that fashion. Then make sure you hand over the reins to them. This might not be your DC. Chances are they've already got a ton on their plates. So start a dialogue with your domain, even if you don't hold an office. Your domain isn't interested in trying? Well, remember, one person can absolutely recruit effectively. After finding a team, let them brainstorm wildly about how they think recruiting might work for their city. What works in Iowa might not work in Arizona, so encourage creativity and, of course, show them this video. Start at a recruitment meeting asking things like, if money was no object, how would you recruit? Or, how did you find out about LARPing in Mind's Eye Society? And what got you excited? Start a dialogue, make a list, and find something everyone can get excited about and go from there. Building up momentum and buzz is important. If you're excited about it, chances are the people you recruit are going to be excited too. So you've got a team, or you're the only person who's willing to do it. Either way, awesome. Remember, joining the Mind's Eye Society could change somebody's life forever. They could meet a spouse or their best friend. You really can make a difference for them. So let's talk about your domain first. One of the hardest things when you're a new player is finding all the information you need. Even if you're familiar with the system, every game is different and one spot will have all the right, with all the right links or details is really important. We want to make sure that everybody gets all the information that they need, whatever it is that, that they're after. So it took me three months three months to find anybody in my first domain, but I was determined to find that first DC and first DST. Unfortunately, they were both nocturnal, so that's why I had a lot of issues. Not everyone is, persistent, is as persistent as I am, so a central website would really make all the difference in the world. Make sure you have all the information in one place. So why is a website important? Well, have you ever tried to find a business that didn't have anything on Google, didn't have a website, nothing showed up in search? at all, they might as well not exist. The site doesn't have to have much, just a point of contact where someone will be able to return an email within 24 hours, some pictures that'll keep people interested, and information on how often you play and what your game domain, what your games are and when the domain plays. That's it. So let me ask you, does your domain have a website? When was the last time it was updated? Can you Google LARP or Vampire and your city name and have it show up as the, on the first page is really important. If the answer is no, find somebody in your domain who can help you change this. Building an SEO or what they call search engine optimization to your local site does, goes a long way to making sure that you'll be all over Google. MES is filled with tech people. Someone locally can probably help you. You know what? If your local tech people are overworked, underpaid, and over just overlooked and underloved, <laughs> consider buying them dinner. Trust me, it works. And then ask them really, really nicely if they'll help out. If this doesn't work, go to wordpress.com and create your own website there. It's free, easy, and we'll do everything you need it to. 
But this website isn't enough alone to bring people in. It's just the funnel you're going to catch them with to provide a single point of accurate and up-to-date information. It also serves as a single and easy way to remember where you can point people to. Be sure to add your site to Shade's LARP list and consider adding it to the LARP Alliance page. These are both lists of all the LARPs around the country. It includes World of Darkness, indie games, even boffer LARPs. Take your site and plaster it on everything from flyers, business cards, social media, events, posters, meetup.com, and Craigslist. Yes, Craigslist. Another site that many domains are using is meetup.com. Meetup.com is a great way to also find new players if you've got a local member who's willing to fish for them. Effectively, any website that allows you to post events and promote things passively for you is a win. People will Google for a local game. Trust me. Being everywhere on the net can only help you out. But make sure each of these links feeds back to your main central website. So, you've got an amazing website. You're on meetup.com. You're on Craigslist. Now let's talk a little bit about social media. This is arguably the one that requires the most maintenance. But if you've got somebody in your domain who already does this, tweets, posts, circles, that kind of thing, it's a great addition to your marketing arsenal. Attach an RSS feed from your domain main site where you can post updates so the social media feeds will do everything automatically for you. Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus are the three must-haves for this particular exercise. So how do you actively recruit using social media? In business, the professional title is actually community manager, and businesses sink millions of dollars into branding, marketing, and community engagement just so that you'll like them or you know, retweet what they have to say on Twitter. So how can you leverage this? Once you've created your fan or group page, then post regularly. The key is to have conversations with individuals. Make sure it's free of vulgarity, spelling errors, or grammar issues, if you can help it at least. I have a problem with that. Uh, friends, Friend people or reach out to people or groups that you think might be interesting to play with. Look for other local board game groups or tabletop groups in your area and start dialogues with them. Starting a conversation with fellow gamers in your area via Twitter or social media is a great way to stimulate long-term interest. It's a lot of maintenance, I know, but the advantage is you can do it from your phone or tablet, and multiple people can actually maintain it. There's a lot of great resources online about community management and growing your brand online. When I say brand, I need you to think about your domain as a product, an awesome product that you know everyone should want. What you've really got to be doing is marketing the idea of your local LARP, not the MC, not the prestige, not the approvals, not that one time your character got kill box. That's not what we're talking about. You're marketing a game, a community of supportive friends, and a chance to belong to an interactive national experience. Be positive and engage the people about what you think will interest them. So let me talk about conventions briefly. When we say recruitment, most people think of recruitment conventions around the country. StratCon, Origins, Genghis Khan, Neon Con, Dragon Con, Orcon, even Gen Con. If you can name one convention where you've recruited more than two players to your domain, then you're the 1%. Congratulations, you're doing something right. Conventions are really hard to pull off. They take planning, logistics, and a lot of get up and go on the whole domain's part. Gaming conventions are not what they were in the heyday of vampires. So if you live in a domain with lots of gamers in your city already, then by all means, get out there and introduce yourself in the organization. But if you have a less motivated domain, then look for a year-round focus on recruitment as opposed to really pushing hard once per year. Discuss it with your DC and storytellers your next domain meeting and see what works best for you. So what about in-person recruitment? Chances are you've already told all of your gamer friends about how awesome your domain is and how much you want them to play. Good job! Now it's time to make some new gamer friends. Start Googling other gaming groups in your area. Check out the gaming scene on meetup.com, join a tabletop, get involved in your local community theater groups, or even go and check out your local goth or poetry scene. Make a night of it. You know what? If you've become the marketeer for your domain, Go to vistaprint.com and get yourself some very cheap business cards and hand them out to anyone you think might be appropriate. Leave a stack of them at every gaming store in your town and be sure to print flyers up as well. Use pictures that are tantalizing, mm -hmm, but also include lots of information. You could even get the domain to go to a showing of Rocky Horror and dress up and offer prestige for the best Frankenfurter. Get creative and have fun with it. Ask your domain, what kind of players do we want? 
where would people like that hang out? Take your website, tweeters, and business cards and plaster these locations. If you're someone who meets people easily, strike up conversations with your local gaming communities. Boffer LARPs or Steampunk LARPs are also great recruitment places. Chances are, if you're in a large enough city, there's a Nero chapter there or another similar group. Ask the Googles. Another important place to check out for the next generation of MES members is the community colleges and universities in your city. Check out their anime and gaming clubs or even their theater groups. Hey, post an advertisement in their playbill if your domain has the money for it. This is a great way to get exposure to your target demographic. If you happen to be lucky enough to have other LARPs hiding on the college campuses, reach out to them and see if you can mutually work with them. The important part is to be creative and resist the urge to say no to anything initially. Get a computer and a big monitor or TV and just come up with anything. Think blue sky. Come back here in the comments of this video and let us know what worked for you. Or you can catch me at Swear in Reno and tell me in person. I'll have my camera with me. Thanks for joining us on our inaugural launch of the video portion of the Mind's Eye Society newsletter, Midnight Voice. We'll see you next quarter.